start pulling on it. See there? It's on. Uh, it's on? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, ho, ho. Hey, good job! Hey, that's a nice one. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Uh, today is day two of our Red Lake ice fishing trip yesterday. We did okay. We got a couple fish. We were only out there for a couple hours because we were so tired from getting up here at two or three in the morning, whatever time it was. Um, but we're hitting it hard today. We're out here early in the morning. Hopefully we can get on some nice fish. Okay, I'm gonna go put, put a tip up up. We just got all set up. So I'll kind of show you guys what we're using today, trying to target these fish and trying to catch them. Um, I got two dead sticks running inside the house, or excuse me, Marin has a dead stick and I have a dead stick. And then I'm gonna put a, um, probably a tip up out to the north and maybe run like a jigging rod inside, something like that. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna get after it. Hopefully we can be on some fish very soon. Holy cannoli. Should, should oh, he's going after this one. Okay. But I think, yep, he's on it. We're cooking up our hot dogs and he's on it. Oh boy. Oh, I got him. Oh boy. Come on, bud. Oh, that is a nice one. Ho, ho, ho. I know. <laughs> Let's go. That's like the perfect eater right there. He's definitely going to get eaten tonight. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take that all day long. Well, I'm about to get another one. Yep. Come on. A few moments later. Buddy heater hot dog. Bet you've never eaten a hot dog on a buddy heater. Mmm. <laughs> not bad. Huh. Marin's cold. Mm. Better warm her back up. Turn it off. Flip the braid. I will. I'm going to let it burn off. Mm. Not bad, huh? You sure you don't want the other one? You can have it. God dang, I think that flag is up again. No way. We got another flag, fellas. See what it is. Is it moving? Oh yeah, it's moving. There's a fish on here. All right. Let's see. Oh. There it is. Not super big. This might be a good sized eater. Oh, actually, it's got a little bit of weight to him. Oh boy. There he goes. He saw that hole and wanted nothing to do with it. Come on, big guy. Oh yeah. Another Walter. Let's go. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Sweet. We got to go measure this guy and see if we can take him home with us. Otherwise, we'll go send him back real quick. Let's see. Let's see what it measures. I think it might make the cut. Stop flopping. Oh, now they're all flopping. 
<laughs> Stop. Stop. Well, he's got to go back. He is 18 inches. All right, let's see. There we go. All right. See you later, big guy. Very nice. Big. Oh, you do get one. Which one? Oh, that one. Run! Uh. <clears throat> you think there's a fish on it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a fish on it. I just saw it turn, I think. Hang on. Oh yeah. Hang on. Ready? Sweet. Okay. Start pulling on it. See there? It's on. Huh? It's on? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Ho ho ho! Hey, good job! Hey, that's a nice one. I'm not still alive. That'll eat for dinner for sure, won't he? Definitely. Check that out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now we just. So if you guys are coming up to Red Lake, one of the most common ways to catch these fish if you guys aren't sure if you've only been up to Red Lake a couple times or if it's your first time I'm gonna let you in on a real big secret I mean a lot of people know it but this is how I like to catch my fish the fish out here sometimes will bite on a jig a jig and rod but not very often you take a red hook hook your minnow behind its back fin and then run a split shot maybe a foot or you know 14 inches above your above your minnow and you're going to want a monofilament leader to your braid, okay, on your tip-up or whatever you use if you use tip-up line, okay? And that's literally it. You're just going to put that down there, and it's the best way to catch them. It's really hard on Red Lake to hone in on, you know, structure because really Red Lake's just a big bowl, and it doesn't get very deep. I mean, there is some spots if you get out, you know, farther into the middle of the lake where there's some structure, but especially on this early ice time frame, you're really just looking at the depth. Like today, we're catching them in 11 to 12 feet of water, and that seems to be the sweet spot because yesterday we were fishing in like 14, and it was very clear that the fish just weren't that deep yet. I mean, we picked up a couple, but it was very slow, and today moving in a little bit shallower has made all that difference on you know whether you're going to catch fish or not but you just don't want to make the mistake of not running of not running your set lines okay you flag boys oh yeah there's a fish on there i think you want to get it on Wait, hold on. All right, go for it. Got him? Yep. How's it feel? Is it big? I think it might just stop like. Oh, oh. He's, he's there. Oh, he pulled a lot of line out. Keep him coming. Oh, there he is. That's a nice one. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. Good, good job. Oh, hang on, bud. Oh, buddy. Hey, that's a nice one. What do you think? Wow. You like, do you like Red Lake? I like Red Lake. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, this guy's probably going in the frying pan tonight. We're going to get this tip up back down and hopefully get a couple more. Well, oh, we got a flag up. We got to go. I was about to make our outro, but I guess we got a fish. <laughs> You're getting it? Marn's getting the last fish of the day. I was just about to make our outro. Now we got a fish. These fish have really been short, 
short striking us, so we're gonna give him a minute. Okay. Wait. Go for it. Got him? I think so. Let me easy. Yeah, he's on there. Come oh, on. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. Oh, that is a nice one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Hey, good job. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, that is cool. That might be, that might be a 17 inch fish. We're gonna have to get a measurement on him and see if he's gotta go back or not. But good job. Well, this guy is going back. He was so close to 17 that we're just gonna let him swim and live another day, so. There you go, big buddy. Cool. Well, little bonus, little bonus fish for the end of the day. I was about to make my outro, but uh, we did pretty good today. We are bringing home six fish to harvest. Um, that guy, he probably was right under 17, but when it's that close, I figure we just let him go so he can grow and get bigger. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will be back on the ice tomorrow to hopefully catch some more fish. And, uh...